Hey there, my lovely people. Welcome back to another episode in Sarge Fit. Fitness for the mind. I am here at the outside. Oops. Yeah, that's something I need to apologize for, but I'm gonna leave it natural like that. Because I wanted to say that I am here on the wildness of this beautiful place in Kerfili Castle, which is really nice. And I thought I'm gonna record this video. First of all, I'm gonna apologize for the wobbly camera. And I know it's nothing professional, but I wanna keep it natural. And therefore I am just doing this video for you. Um, I wanna talk about how to become a magnetic self, how to magnetize your purpose. And here's my intro. Whoop. I am your friend and host, certified, bubbly, fied and qualified motivational speaker, well-being coach and mentor. Welcome to Zyger Feet, because fitness is not only for the body, uh -uh, but fitness for the mind. We roar together. Arr. So my lovely people, let's start with some basics here. Let's describe what is the meaning of magnetic and the meaning of yourself. So bear with me because I know there's a lot of way to describe these two words. However, in my top of my mind, on the top of my mind, uh, being magnetic is having the essence of attracting something. The thing that we normally know is a magnet attracting a metal, right? But there are many ways to attract something, not necessarily being a magnet of its elf, but being yourself a magnetic person. The other word that we have to describe to start the basics is um, uh, yourself. Yourself is just the sense of becoming you. Being yourself is just the sense of the knowledge and beliefs of becoming yourself. Now, if you have any other way to describe these two words, I will truly appreciate if you share with us on the description box. But if you agree with this as well, let me know and I'll be happy to read your comments and as well to share with you uh, my findings as well. After we describe these two words, it just gives us a platform to talk about how to become a magnetic person. The issue that I believe that most of us struggle with is when we think that our nature isn't magnetic and we only get into the negative side of a magnet. And if you know, the nature of a magnet has two poles, right? One is positive and another one is negative. But when you see only one side, either looking at the only positive one, there is a struggle, there is a persistence, and there is a, an issue that will stop you from achieving your goals or will stop you from um, naturally acting the way that you were meant or delivering your nature right and and here's the thing if you want to become a magnetic person you have to allow both sides both poles the positive and the negative of every situation because only by doing that you'll be able to address your balance and balance your life out so that you can be at the truth of what is going on and take a better decision a more truthful decision to your purpose to your nature to your reality to what describes you right um, and what do i mean by allowing the both poles to be present i mean that you see if something negative happened to you for example uh, you didn't get the job for example you didn't get the job that you wanted many people will kind of see it as a negative uh, thing that has happened but wouldn't allow the positive of this outcome 
to flourish as well and to show up. Meaning that when you're going through a challenging situation, it is best to allow the situation to show you what happened and the reason why it happened. Because most of the times when you don't get a job, it's because that job wasn't meant for you or because you were gonna have a lot of struggles on that job or because you were gonna become miserable or because something along that line was gonna happen, right? And here's the thing, that's a good thing, that's a positive thing that is happening. If you didn't get a job that was gonna make you miserable even though you want it so badly, it's best for you not to get it. And that is the positive side amongst the negative and challenging situation that you are living in. Once you recognize the good and bad, you are going to develop. Once you recognize the good and bad, you are going to develop more self-trust, more self-esteem. And you're going to believe in and trust in yourself in whatever is happening is the best thing that is happening to you and those are the principles of magnex how to become a more magnetic person allow the negative and the positive to interact with each other because you're by doing this you're gonna have a more um, truthful um, knowledge of the situation and therefore you're gonna take better decisions and better um, opportunities are gonna arrive for yourself it also will help your self-esteem to be empowered to be recognized to be that self substance that is gonna help you overcome the situations another thing that is really important talking about magnets right or the magnetic behaviors is that when you're going through um let's say you want something um you only see the positive sides of it you see for example Everybody wants to become millionaire. Why? Because having money will open doors for you to buy the things that you want, right? But on the other side of the coin, the negative side of the coin, having that much money can put you into danger. Having that much money as well can put you into uh, unwanted situations with your family. And having damage money as we all want right can put you into things that you don't want so that is the negative side i recognize that but many people don't recognize this part of me <clears throat> many people don't recognize this and that is the key like when you want to um become a magnetic person you have to become like a magnet as in allow the good and the not that good to show up the reality so that you can take better judgments and better decisions towards the things that you need to do. For example, if you want to, um, that example of the money, you want to achieve more money um, or get more money doing what you do and you know what that much money can cost you, then start maybe opening a saving account <clears throat> or start making plans so what would you do if X, Y, Z, which is a negative situation, which I mentioned before, happened? What would you do in that situation? What would you um, um, react like? And once you do that, your brain is going to say, well, you are ready. You are ready. And then... It will start working towards that goal, towards that momentum that you're looking for. And I know it might sound like a bit fluffy at some point. It's not my intention. I'm trying to make it as clear and as concise, as simple as possible, because I want to address the principles of the magnet. And if you have any other principle, please let me know, because I'm studying this as well. 
and as I am talking as well, the reason why I'm doing this was because I received these downloads of how to become a magnetic person. I believe with the circle of friends and the circle of families and the circle of my society, my community, I am a magnetic person. I am a likable person. And I believe I have enough to share here with you. However, if you have a personal experience, I would love to listen to it. Another thing is becoming a magnetic person becomes a struggle if you don't know how to handle it. Because like we said before, it has its pros and cons or the two poles, the positive and negative, which are gonna interact between them. So if you know already, <laughs> and I'm laughing because um, being a magnetic person requires a lot of responsibility. It comes with responsibility. It comes with leadership. It comes with a lot of talking to people, communication, influencing people. It comes with joy, a lot of joy. And I enjoy being myself because I think and I believe I am a magnetic person and I am a leader and I enjoy doing what I do. My type of magnetism is helping people overcoming um, self-destructive behavior, changing their mindset for the better. Many other people will have another type of goals, another type of dreams, but that is in a nutshell one of my uh, qualities. And I've noticed that many people wouldn't be able to cope with the, uh, the attraction that comes with leadership or the attraction that comes of becoming a magnetic person. And that's fine. It's not for everyone. But there are many people who can do this on anonymatum as well. And that is another thing. If you are a shy person, but you still want to benefit from becoming a magnetic self, I believe there is a, 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 an opportunity for you as well on doing this on a constant basis, on a basis where you feel comfortable, right? Because um, becoming a magnetic person doesn't have to be showing your face everywhere, pardon me, showing your face everywhere or uh, saying, this is me. And that's it. You know what I mean? There are many YouTube channels, many YouTube channels and many social medias who don't show, which don't show their faces. And they are so magnetic, attracting people to their journey, to the way that they do the things. Um, and to do that, you just have to be yourself and maybe not do it in front of the camera. Google a lot of other resources that you might use for your benefit and that will apply to anyone to anyone who want to either show their faces or being on anonymatum but still become a magnetic person google other tools that you could use like for example canva or, or for example uh, video.io or other platforms where you could just take your ideas get videos with the AI or other sources, go to ChatGPT um, and uh, Google how to become a magnetic person in anonymatum. And the ChatGPT is gonna give you a lot of ideas that you could just adapt to yourself. You don't have to be like somebody else's. I believe that if we all become magnetic, we will all be generating the desires of our hearts we will all be rolling in um, a, like a wheel that has different poles different um, uh, places different parts but the wheel naturally goes in a circle and we will be blessing others and others will be blessing us and that's why i believe that becoming magnetic all of us becoming magnetic is the way to achieve our dreams, to achieving our dreams. One other tip that I can share with you is be simple. Becoming magnetic doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be in any other way than being yourself. 
you just have to own your purpose be yourself love yourself and when I say this I say it with all my heart many people think that they need to be in the shape of somebody else's or the look of somebody else's or doing the things the way that somebody successful else is doing when in reality it's not like that we can be beautiful we are beautiful on our own nature and for you to become magnetic you have to start accepting the negative bits or the negative poles that you think you don't like that much or that you don't um you don't wanna uh, accept of yourself see the negative bring it to the positive or the positive okay and once you do that once you accept yourself once you love yourself and i believe this should be the first tip that you, i should tell you but i am really happy to have landed on this topic on this tip for you because loving yourself should be the most important tip that you should explore every day of your life by loving yourself you can explore more of who you are your nature your magnetism the ways that you do the things and once you know the ways that you love and do the things then you start growing and attracting people. If you want to attract people, you just have to love yourself. Show that you love yourself with passion, with your arts, with your craft, with the way that you move, with the way that you make silence, with the way that you look and the way that you think, the way that you help people, the way that only belongs to you. Becoming magnetic is a journey that we all have to take into consideration if we want to grow and develop and if you are a business owner or if you are an entrepreneur, a solopreneur or a person who wants to progress. Becoming yourself is the only thing that's going to become um, the tool for you to be the magnetic self that you know you can become. Being magnetic means that you are gonna take the challenge of being yourself. Take the challenge of believing in yourself. Take the challenge of going into nature and thinking or into your room in silence, but thinking the universe, God, I believe, I know a religious, but I, I'm not a religious person, but I believe there is a God. So when I can, and every time I can, I go to nature and I ground myself, or I interact with the earth because we are beings living in another bigger living being. The earth moves, the earth grows, the earth um, interacts, rotates. So that means that is a living being. Like we move, we rotate, we interact. So be grateful for the things that you have. Be grateful for being yourself. There is one purpose that you have. And this one purpose is to become yourself. And if you wanna become yourself, you have to start by loving yourself. And by loving yourself, you're gonna start being magnetic. You're gonna start attracting the people that needs your support. <clears throat> but that same people that needs your support is the people that you need in order to spread your light and your purpose and becoming the magnetic self that you know you can become. Being grateful is the only energy that translates throughout the whole earth to help you achieve and focus those goals. Being grateful is also a sign of gratitude, of peace, of acknowledgement that despite the fact of what you're happening or what is happening, you're gonna become the one self that you should become. Being grateful will lead you to bigger places 
because it means that you are grateful you are at peace you're joyful where you are at and then you're ready to scale to the next level being grateful is what are gonna what is going to make you become the more magnetic self that you can become i'm sure that this is resonating with a lot of you and if it does stick around click the like button and as well look at all these videos that i have here that is also talking about motivational and inspirational content that is gonna bless your life this is zyger feed fitness for the mind i love this place